Hi, uh, so today we'll talk about uh, blocking session and locks on Oracle. So I have two sessions from user Scott. So this is Scott user and this is also Scott. So, so I have an employee table. So let's do an update to this employee table and let's update the salary for employee number 101. So I, I have updated one row in employee table, but I'm, I'm not going to commit a rollback for now. So let's go to the sec second Scott session. So here I'm going to update the same employee row for I'll up, in, but I'll update the department ID too from 10 to 20. So now I can see it, it's just hanging there. It, the update is not going ahead. The reason being uh, that. The other session is holding the logs on that row. It has not committed a rollback. So the transaction is not yet complete. So that's the lock is still there. And the second session is trying to get a lock on that same row. So it is not moving ahead. So let's see uh, how we can find out which session is blocking which one. So if you go to sys user, this session is connected as sys sysdba. And I will run this this query i'll share all this query in in the description so it will be helpful to you so this will this is from v dollar session where blocking session is not null so if i run this as you can see let's be done again blocking session 17 the sid 17 is blocking the session 149 and this is a roll of contention and the seconds in wait is 58 seconds has been waiting on so if you run it again you will see the seconds in wait has increased. Now, let's if you want to know like on what table or one or what object this lock is uh, on hold. So there's one more query from V dollar lock. I'll share all this SQL in the description. So he's asking for the SID into the value for SID. So we'll put the blocking session SID. We want to know what on which table we have a lock. So as you can see from 17, we have a A, TX and TM. Whenever you have a roller contention, you always have this TM and TX. So on TM lock, you can you can search on internet to know the uh, detail of each of these types. You have this ID one. This ID one is the object ID where the where we have the lock. So we can run one more query from DBA uh, objects to get this object details. So we need to provide this ID one as object ID seven three seven three seven three one three one. So as you can see, this is the Scott that lock is on the employee tab table from Scott user. So this is how you can if you if you see some slowness or some session is hanging uh, for for your from from for your database and you get a complaint from the application team, you can run this query to find out. If there is any blocking session on the database and on which which object the the lock is uh, ho on hold, uh, so this will be very useful. So I'll share all these uh, queries in, on, on the description and it will be helpful to you. That's so coming back to our uh, to Scott sessions, so you can see, uh, so I have this update here. It's not committed rollback. Other session is still hanging. It's I've given an update statement. It's still hanging. So if I do a rollback here. So just watch uh, what happens if I hit enter here. Uh, the moment I hit enter, rollbacks, you can see one row updated. Because after rollback, the lock is released from this row. So that, that's how this, this other session was able to proceed with the update statement. So that's all about blocking, blocking session and locks. Uh, hope you learned something today. Thanks. Bye-bye.